coded human history is only 8,000 years uh, old. And that's uh, one part in a million of uh, the age of the Milky Way galaxy. So we just don't know what happened before we start, you know, humans started recording their history. I, I discussed it on Friday with Joe Rogan uh, in an episode that should come out uh, soon, uh, perhaps uh, tomorrow, or, uh, I mean, definitely this week. Uh, and uh, my, um, you know, I'm completely open-minded about that. It's possible that we just don't know how much tr traffic we had of such visits and what the implications were in the past and, and whether they put any monitors in our baby room. You know, our civilization is so young, uh, they might think of us as a, a baby that needs some monitors in the baby room. And, uh, and then if they see any, anything uh, worrisome, they might actually show up uh, in a way that uh, we don't anticipate. So it's possible that, you know, in fact, just today I was, um, I'm finishing a paper about uh, an object that uh, was defined as a, a quasi moon, a, a mini moon that was added perhaps uh, to the actual moon that we have. Uh, it was discovered just a couple of months ago near Earth. And uh, this is uh, an interesting question as to whether such an object, suddenly we see a mini moon uh, that is around us. Is that the monitor, you know, by, the installed by some interstellar visitor? Um, we have to keep our eyes uh, uh, on the sky and, and figure things out based on data, based on evidence rather than, you know, speculations. And I, I'm just suggesting that we keep this in mind because the worst thing you can do is ignore any any potential risk from alien technology. You know, I, I did see, Avi, some um, articles posted, and it didn't seem like it was the best sources, so maybe I didn't really believe it, um, with that second moon, quote unquote. I have a two-part question for you. One, talking about some of the, you know, quote unquote evidence, I guess we're seeing that 3i Atlas uh, could be a mothership and rather than just an object, because I, I saw reports that a that a tail was changing directions on it. And then another part is what we have on the, the bottom of our screen there, you know, that it's Manhattan size comet. How much damage could that do? Oh, so the size is first of all quite surprising because uh, as I said, it's uh, at least a thousand times more massive than the previous two visitors. And you just don't expect something as, as huge as that uh, to come before you see, let's say, a thousand more smaller objects. And so, and also the trajectory was aligned with the planets, which is very surprising because the chance of that happening at random is one in 500. So in that sense, that's that raised my uh, alert uh, to, to the object. And, um, and so, um, you know, we just need to get more data about it. There is also nickel uh, shed by this object, much more than, than iron, and, and that is a signature of uh, technological manufacturing of nickel alloys. So um, the object is strange, but it could be that all of these uh, are quite rare um, uh, properties are by chance, you know, like we, we need to, to figure them out, uh, understand where they're coming from. And, um, uh, and and especially keep our eyes on it for the next few months just to make sure that it doesn't maneuver and doesn't release any mini probes that could affect uh, the Earth uh, and uh, in an unexpected way.